welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel, brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I will show you how to make the Chic and Strong Crescent Shawl. This is a beautiful crocheted shawl designed by my friend Ron Strong using my brand new yarn, Red Heart Chic Sheep by Marley Bird. This yarn comes in 24 wonderful colors, and as long as you pick two colors that you love, you are sure to end up with a shawl that you will love as well. Now, this particular shawl pattern is free and available over on redheart.com. I'll put a link to the shawl pattern and the materials needed in the video description box right down there below this video. While you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button to let people know you enjoyed this video or you enjoyed this shawl. Go ahead and get your free pattern, gather your materials, join me back here, and I'll help you get started on this really great shawl pattern. I know many of you are like me and you love making crocheted shawls and I can't wait to show you how to make this one. It starts off right down here at the center back of the shawl. So it would be where it lays back on your neck. And we start off with some foundation double crochet. Once we get past the foundation double crochet, we work simple stitches and increase out here on the wingspan until we get the width and length we want. Then you move on and you make this really great border using this beautiful scallop stitch. And Ron chose one color to make the scallops, but you could, could do it in several different colors and get a completely different look. So here at the beginning, we're gonna start down here in the center back with our foundation double crochets. Foundation double crochets are not a super difficult thing to do, and it's really great to learn. Now, if you've never done them before, I'm gonna suggest that you do grab a removable stitch marker, because I will show you how to use the stitch marker to allow you to see what stitch you're going to be making that next stitch for the foundation double crochets in. It'll make sense here in just a second. Let's start off by putting a slip knot directly onto your hook. Once you get the slip knot on your hook, go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Now you yarn over your hook, go back into the third chain from the hook, and insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. This loop right here that we just pulled up is going to represent our chain stitch that we are going to create the double crochet upon. So we will yarn over our hook and draw through one loop. Take a second, grab the stitch marker I told you to grab, and stick that stitch marker right there into that stitch. Now complete your double crochet as normal. Now you will yarn over your hook go into that marked stitch. So I have that stitch marked, right? I'm gonna go into it and I'm making sure I'm working through both legs. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, draw through one, move my stitch marker up to that next stitch that I just went through with the one. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over your hook, go into that stitch that's marked Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through one, move your stitch marker up, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over your hook, go into the marked stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through one, move your marked marker up, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. Now you'll notice in the notes section of the pattern, Ron states that the initial chain three of any row does not count as a stitch. That holds true here with the foundation double crochet. As I take a look at what we've already completed, this initial chain three we did does not count as a stitch. So I'm only going to count the actual foundation double crochets I've completed. So I've completed four foundation double crochets. And in the pattern, I need to do 18. So let's go ahead and get the 18 foundation double crochets completed. Once you've completed your 18 foundation double crochet, you can go ahead and remove that marker. 
Now we'll turn our work and we'll move on to row one. Row one has us begin with a chain three. Remember, this chain three does not count as a stitch. Now we will go ahead, yarn over our hook, and into this first stitch right there, we want to put three half double crochets. So we'll do one, two, three. Now we'll do a half double crochet in each double crochet across. So yarn over our hook, go into the next stitch and work a half double. And then you move on to the next and you work another half double. We'll do this all the way down the row. In the last stitch of the row, we will put three half double crochets, but we will also be changing colors in the third one. So I will go ahead and work two full half double crochets. And in the third one, when I go in and pull up a loop, instead of yarning over with my old color, I want to change to my second color. So I will just grab my second color here, yarn over with it, and pull that through. Now I have my second color ready to go. Now the way Ron made this shawl, he does not want you to cut the yarn every two rows. He said that it's okay to carry up the color along the side of the shawl. You can then go back at the end of the project and do single crochets down the, the side of the shawl to hide those floats if you want, but it's not entirely necessary. It's totally up to you. If you do decide that you want to cut your yarn every two rows, you can absolutely do that, but I'm giving you permission right now to not do that and just carry your yarn up. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and carry it up as written in the pattern. So I will carry on working row two. So I need to turn my work and I will chain three stitches using my new color. I'm just gonna let my old color hang out there and just completely ignore it. Now I will go ahead and work three half double crochets into this first stitch. Remember, my initial chain three does not count as a stitch. Once I've placed those three half double crochets in the first half double, I will do a half double all the way across until I get to this last half double where I will do three half doubles into that one. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. Once again, I've done my three half doubles, so all I need to do is a half double into each stitch all the way to the very last stitch of this row. This time I am not changing colors. I am keeping the next row into the same color. So when I get to the last stitch, I do want to put three half double crochets in that stitch all in the same color without changing. One of the great things about changing colors every two rows is you will know when it's time to change colors again because you will be back on the side where your color is hanging out waiting for you. So you never really have to question if it's a color change row or not because you'll know as soon as you get to the side where the other color is there waiting for you to change to, you'll know it's time to change colors. So here I am, and remember, I'm not counting that chain three as a stitch, okay? So I don't wanna work into my chain three, but I do want to put three half double crochets in my last half double. Now I can move on to row three, which has me turn my work, and it's a repeat of row two. Only this time, when I get to the end of row two, my other color will be down there waiting for me. So let's go ahead and start off with my three half double crochets right here at the start, and then I'll put half doubles all the way down. I'm to my last half double crochet section here, and remember, this is where I wanna put three half doubles. So I will do the first two as normal, but on the third one, I want to change colors on the second draw through. So instead of yarning over with the color I've been working with, I will drop the color I've been working with, pick up my old color that's down here waiting for me, and I will just uh, float it up here to the top, yarn over with my new color, and pull through. I do want to make sure that I am not pulling that new color so tight that it makes this fabric cinch up. You wanna make sure that the flow is nice and just even with the fabric, okay? And that completes my row three. 
Now row four and five is just a repeat of row two, but now it's using my new color. Actually, the whole rest of the shawl is a repeat of row two, just changing colors every two rows. You'll continue doing this until you get through row 37 and you have 166 half double crochets. Once you've reached that point, it's time for the edging. See, I told you this shawl was simple. Go ahead, work on the body of the shawl, and then let's do the edging. How's it going? Do you have 166 half double crochets? I know I'm nearly there and I figure I will go ahead and talk you through the edging um, once you reach 166 half double crochets and then I'm going to show you how to do the edging on a small little swatch um, versus doing the edging on this actual shawl. So that way you can get through this video a little bit quicker, okay? So first things first, let me just set this down here so you can take a look. As you get done with your shawl, obviously I have another dark blue row to get going on here, but the first couple rows of your edging actually has you do a row of single crochet, then a row of double crochet. Once you do those two rows, then you start building the really great scallop edge of the edging. So let's bring this one in here so you can take a look. This is where you get these really great looks. So right down here, there's one row of single crochet and then one row of double crochet, and then it starts this really great edging. So if you look at your pattern, you'll notice that on the last page, there is an actual crochet chart made up. So what we're going to do is we are going to work up a sample based on the number of stitches that are in that chart. All you'll have to do is when you finish your shawl is repeat the sections from the, you know, you'll do the beginning, repeat the sections through the body, and then do the end. It'll make this video a lot faster for you, and I'm also gonna change colors as I'm working through the edging, so that way you can see what the stitches look like as I'm working them. So let me do that now. If you're looking at your chart, what I have right here is a finished row two of the chart, and we're getting ready to work into row three. And I am gonna switch colors as I work into row three, so that way you can better see the stitches I'm making, but you don't have to do that if you wanna follow along and make your edging the complete solid color, okay? I'm getting ready to begin row three on the chart, so I will turn my work, and I begin by chaining four. I can tell on the chart that I will be working into that third chain that I just did, so I'm going to mark it just so that I know where that chain stitch is. Same thing that I did down here. I know that this chain three is going to count as a stitch, so I've gone ahead and I've marked that stitch from the previous row. Now I know I'm going to do a two double crochet cluster in the second double crochet right here, not in this first one, but in this one. And to do that, I yarned over my hook, went into the stitch, and pulled up a loop. Yarned over and pulled up a loop. I yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over my hook, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. Now I yarn over, draw through all three loops on my hook. I'll do a single crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, skip two double crochet, and do a single crochet in the next double crochet. Now I will do another two double crochet cluster in the next stitch, then I chain four, and I will do another two double crochet cluster in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain four, skip two double crochet, single crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet cluster in the next stitch. Chain two, 
and this is where the repeat is. So if you're working on your shawl instead of just a little sample like this, you will want to repeat from star. So go ahead and take a look at the written instructions. You can see where this is where we will begin our repeat. So we will put another two double crochet cluster in the next stitch over, a single crochet in the next stitch, chain four, skip two double crochet, single crochet in the next stitch, and then we do a two double crochet cluster in the next stitch, chain four, two double crochet cluster in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain four, skip two double crochet, single in the next stitch, and then two double crochet cluster in the following stitch, chain two. That's the end of my second repeat. Because I'm following the chart, I only have one more repeat. If you're working on your shawl, you have many more repeats. So continue on down until you get to the last stitch of your shawl, and that's where you will do a double crochet in the very last stitch. And if you've used a marker, you know exactly where that last stitch is, okay? I'm completing my last two double crochet cluster. I finish with a chain one, and I will put a double crochet in this last stitch, this marked stitch right there. I will place a double crochet. Now I'm ready to begin row four of my chart. Again, I will change colors, that way you can better see what I'm doing, but you don't have to do that. You can keep continuing on with just one color. Let me go ahead and turn my work, and beginning to row four, we start with a chain one, and that chain one does not count as a stitch. You will then single crochet into that first double crochet. Now, here's where we'll begin our repeat, okay? You ready? So we will go ahead and we will chain four. One, two, three, four. We'll single crochet in the next chain four space. In that whole space. We don't wanna do anything else, just put it in that single space. Now, everything we're going to do next is gonna go into this large chain four space right here. So what you'll notice in the written instructions, it says to chain one, and then do a double crochet in that chain four space. Chain one, double crochet in that chain four space. Chain one, double crochet in that chain four space. Chain one, double crochet in the same space chain one, double crochet in the same space, chain one, double crochet in the same space. We should have six double crochets total, which I do, and that has completed one shell, okay? So this one shell has been made in this chain four space. I continue on by doing a chain one. I will then single crochet in the next chain four space, so I'll single crochet right over there. And then I will chain four. And I will single crochet in this chain two space. That's the end of my repeat. So I go back to the start of my repeat and begin again. So I will begin by working a chain four, putting a single crochet into that chain four space. Now I'm gonna create a shell into this chain four space. So I chain one, double crochet into that chain four space, chain one, double crochet, and I'll do this until I have a total of six double crochets in that space. Oops, I forgot to do a chain one right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a shell completed. I will go ahead, I will chain one, 
place a single crochet in this next chain four space and then I will chain four, put a single crochet in this chain two space and then I'm back to my repeat. So I chain four, do a single crochet in that chain four space, chain one, double crochet in the chain four, chain one, double crochet in the same chain four, and do this until I get six double crochets. Again, this repeat that I'm working on is a total of three, but your shawl will have many more, so you just work across until you get to the end of your shawl. Once you've completed that shell, you do a chain one. I will single crochet in this chain four space. And as you get to the end of your shawl, we're gonna end here a little bit differently in that we are going to then chain four. And we will do a single crochet into this marked stitch. Remember when I had you mark the third chain of those initial four chains? You want to go ahead and do a single crochet into that marked stitch right there, okay? So by doing that, that finishes off your shawl just the way you started it. So we did a single chain four, we ended with a single chain four. So as I set this down, this is obviously a lot smaller, but this is exactly what you are looking at so far. Now we've completed row four, let's move on to row five. Again, I will change color so you can better see how the stitches look. Okay, with row five, we have a lot of two double crochet clusters going on, so here we go. Let's turn our work, and we will start off with a chain four. Two, three, four. Once again, I can tell just by looking at my chart that I will be placing a stitch into the third chain of this chain four when I get to row six, so I'm gonna mark that stitch right now just so I know exactly where it is. I'm just putting it in that third chain. And now I will go ahead and do a two double crochet cluster into this very first single crochet. You're gonna be very familiar with this two double crochet cluster on this row. Once you've done that two double crochet cluster, you will do a single crochet into this chain four space. Now you will chain two, and then do a two double crochet cluster into this double crochet, and then you will do one in each one of those double crochets around that shell, okay? So we've chained two, and we will do a double crochet cluster, a two double crochet cluster, I guess that's what it's called. All right, now we'll chain two, and we'll do a two double crochet cluster in the next double crochet. Oops. chain two. Now let's go ahead and repeat that in the next double crochet. So I'll do a two double crochet cluster in the next one. Don't forget the chain two in between. And then do it into each double crochet around the shell. Okay. Chain two. When you get to the end, when all of those double crochets are used up, you will then chain two, single crochet in this next chain four space. Then you will do a two double crochet cluster into this single crochet right here, okay? So we're gonna do a two double crochet cluster into this single crochet, and then we will chain two, and we'll do another two double crochet cluster into this same single crochet, okay? So all of that is going into this single crochet. Can you see that? A two double crochet cluster, chain two, two double crochet cluster. 
that's the end of the repeat, okay? So now we would go back to where the star is and we will repeat all the way across the row. So for that, we will do a single crochet into this chain four space. And then we go ahead and chain two and we will do our two double crochet cluster into this next double crochet. And then we will chain two and then do a two double crochet cluster all the way around this shell once again, okay? So let's do our two double crochet cluster. Chain two. And then a two double crochet cluster in the next double crochet. And I will repeat this all the way around this shell that we completed on the previous row. Don't forget your chain twos in between. Once you finish all of the two double crochet clusters around the shell, don't forget to do a chain two, single crochet in this chain four space. And now we will put the two double crochet clusters into that single crochet, chain two, and then the other two double crochet cluster into that same single crochet. That's the end of my second repeat. Remember, I'm working on one that's smaller than the actual shawl, so you will continue doing that repeat all the way to the very end. And so that's where I am right now. Now that I have done all of those two double crochet clusters around the shell, I can go ahead and I will chain two I will work a single crochet into this chain four space. It's the last chain four space. And now into the very last single crochet, okay? Into that single crochet, I wanna do a two double crochet cluster. Chain one, and then a double crochet into that same single crochet. Okay, all of that is how you finish up the row. So as I set down my work here, you can see that it's really, let's see, make sure I'm in camera. It's really starting to get really, really nice. And um, obviously it's way more colorful than the original, but it's starting to look really good. Now there's only two more rows, so let's go ahead and jump in. Again, I will change colors so you can better see how the stitches look. All right, row six, let's turn our work. And I've gone back to the sweet color, which is the blue. And in this one, we're doing a lot of double crochets, okay? So we will begin with a chain one, and we will single crochet in this first stitch. So we will single crochet in that very first stitch, okay? Once I've completed that, I'm gonna do two double crochets in the next chain two space. That means I'm gonna skip this two double crochet cluster, I'm gonna skip this single crochet, I'm gonna come all the way over here to this space and put two double crochets right there. So there's one and there is two. Now I will put three double crochets in the next five chain two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. So in the next chain two spaces, five of those, I'm gonna put three double crochets, you ready? So I will yarn over my hook and then go into this chain two space and put three double crochets there. Now I come to the next chain two space and I put three double crochets there. Come to the next chain two space and do the same thing. I will do this until I have done the three double crochets into five two chain spaces. I now do two double crochets in the next chain two space. I will single crochet in the next chain two space and that's the one right here between my two double crochet clusters. So I will single crochet right there, okay? And then this is where I will do my repeat. So if you're following along and you are working on your shawl, this is where you will work your repeat. So what I would do here is I would go ahead and I will put 
a two double crochets in this next chain two space, meaning I'm gonna skip this double crochet cluster, I'm gonna skip this single crochet, I'm gonna come all the way over here and I will put two double crochets. And now, working into each one of those chain two spaces around the shell, I will put three double crochets into each one. Now that I've done that, I will put two double crochets in this chain two space. Then I will put a single crochet into this chain two space. Now this is my repeat again. So over here into this chain two space, I will put two double crochets. And I will work my double crochets all the way around my shell there one more time. And when I get to the opposite side, I will put my two double crochets right there into that space. And then I will do a single crochet in the top of that turning chain. So let's get to that point now. put my two double crochets in this chain two space, and then I'll come all the way over here to that marked stitch, and I'll put my single crochet into that marked stitch. If I set this down, this is what we're looking like so far. Make sure I'm in camera, huh? And uh, it's so, so super pretty. This final row is a series of two double crochet clusters, and it's really what ties the whole thing together. So let's go ahead and learn the final row, and then you'll fasten off, weave in your ends, and you will be done. For row seven, we go ahead and we will turn our work, and we begin with a chain one. Once we've done that chain one, we will place a single crochet in our very first stitch. This is where our repeat will begin, okay? We will do a single crochet, a chain four, and two double crochet cluster in the next double crochet. So let's go ahead and do a single crochet, chain four, and then do a two double crochet cluster into that same stitch. All right, so all of that went into that one stitch right there. Now you'll see that it says skip two double crochet and we will do all that again into the next double crochet. So we skip two, put a single crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, and then do a two double crochet cluster in that same stitch. Then we're gonna repeat this a total of five times, okay? So that was one, so we skip two, and then we will put all of that into this next stitch. So we did a single, chain four, and then the two double crochet cluster. All of that into that one stitch. Now I skip two, do a single crochet, chain four, and then work the two double crochet cluster into that same stitch. Skip two, single crochet in the next, chain four, two double crochet cluster in the next. Chain two, or skip two, single crochet in the next, chain four, and then two double crochet cluster in that same stitch. Let's count how many we have here. Okay, so this was our first single crochet. This was our first single crochet, chain four, two double crochet cluster into that stitch. And then this next section we had to repeat five times. So we skipped two, and then we did the single chain four, two double crochet cluster. So that was one, skip two, and then there's all of that into one, so that's two. Skip two, all of that into one, so that's three. Skip two, all of that into one, so that's four. Skip two, 
all of that into one, so that's five. That's five times. Now you are supposed to skip two double crochet, single crochet in the next double crochet, skip the next single crochet, and then repeat. Woo, here we go. So the repeat is to do that single crochet, chain four, two double crochet cluster in the next double. So I'm going to the next double. I did my single, chain four, and then do my two double crochet cluster into that same stitch that I did my single. Now here comes my repeat. This is what I will do five times. I skip two and then I will put the single, chain four, and then the two double crochet cluster into that same single. So that's one. I need to do that four more times. Once you've done that a total of five times, you will then skip two, double crochet, skip two, single crochet in the next one, skip the single crochet, and then repeat. So here we go, we will skip that and we will start our repeat. So this is where I only have three repeats, so if you're working on the shawl, you obviously will continue on doing this until you get to the end of the shawl. And once you do that, let me get there and I can show you what you need to do. Once you've completed your five repeats, I will then skip two double crochets, single crochet in the next one, and then to finish it all off, I will single crochet in the very last single crochet and then fasten it off just simply by doing a chain one, snip your yarn, give that a nice pull, and there you go. You have a very nice finished edge right there. Look how cute and delicate and beautiful that edging is. I don't know about you, but as I look at this little swatch that I worked up in all the different colors, it sure does look really pretty, and I could absolutely see this attached to the actual body of the shawl. I think it is so pretty. It would totally make it very spring-like, don't you think? Let's take a look at the actual sample compared to the swatch that I just did so you can see the difference between the solid color and the multicolor right here. Let's make sure both are in camera. And so obviously the solid one right here, this is done in my tie and this is on the original. And then in the multicolor, all I did was just change colors at the end of the row just so you could better see what was going on as we were working those stitches. But that's all you would have to do is just change colors if that's something you're interested in doing. I absolutely love this shawl with a little simple construction and a very nice and hearty yet delicate trim. You get such a beautiful piece. Um, again, this is designed by my friend Ron Strong and I think he did a beautiful job and it is so comfortable and squishy and it uses the Marley Bird Chic Sheep yarn and it's available in 24 different colors from redheart.com. So hopefully you will find two or more colors that speak to you and you will make this really great shawl pattern which is also free. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will run out, get some yarn, grab this pattern and make this for yourself. If you feel like I went a little bit fast on the border instructions, just take your time. Use the written instructions along with the chart and this video and you will have success, no problem at all. Just take your time as you're working through the first section here and then as you work your repeats around your shawls, you'll have no problem. And then you'll get down there to the end um, and just finish off the way it's supposed to be. And you will, you will have a successful and beautiful shawl. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarn. And this is the Chic and Strong Crescent Shawl. Make sure you hit subscribe and smash that like button. So that way you are informed whenever there's a new video released right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Bye.
Everything you need to know about knitting or crochet can be found right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Learn with Marley Bird. Visit youtube.com forward slash Marley Bird.